Hi, in today's video we will see how we can remove the spaces in, in the strings and how do we remove them in a big data frame as well. So if I run these two commands together, I'm using a library called dplyr and I'm constructing a data frame which will have this data. So you can see that there's a space there, um, but it's very hard to see the spaces in this one. So I'll, I'll use another command called glimpse. So I'll be using this command glimpse and you can see that in the name column we have some space in the front and in this case we have a space at the back in this case we have space in the front as well as in the back similarly in the phone field also we have some spaces so let's see how we can trim it so the easiest way is to use the base command here is a string which has a space in the beginning as well as in the end and i'm telling it look i want to remove the space only on the left side so if i run this command you would see that the space in the beginning has gone but space at the end is still there so if i issue a command which says remove the space on the right hand side this is what i get space on the right side is gone but the left side is still there and obviously if i say i want to remove the spaces from both the sides then it will do the job of removing the spaces from the front as well as from the back. Now, so if your data has something like these characters, a tap character, return character, or a new line character, you can remove that as well, which I'll show you in these examples. So in this example, I have new line character at the end. In this case, I have a carriage return and a new line character as well. And you can see that it's actually removing all those characters successfully. And for those of you who want to know what those slash n slash r etc. means, this is what it means. Slash r stands for carriage return, which, which moves to the beginning of the cursor without going to the new line. And then we have slash n, which is the line feed. And then is a combination of R and N, carriage return plus line feed or, or a tab. So all those characters can be removed successfully as well. Now, question is, it's easy to remove it when you have a string, but how do I remove it from a, a big data frame? So I have a data frame, which was this DF. And if I look at that again, to remind you, it had only two columns name and phone and this is what we had some spaces scattered around um, in the names and in, and in the phone number so if i run this command laply and say that i want to convert my data frame i want to i'm using my data frame called df then i want to trim all the spaces and then i'm applying it on all the fields and i'm converting this into a data frame. So this is the command which, which does the job for you. So you can see that a new data frame called DF fixed has been created and all the leading as well as the trailing spaces are gone from this one. Now, this is not the only way. There are so many ways to do that. There's another way which is using the dplyr mutate all. And I'm saying using the dplyr command I'm using my data frame called df and then passing it to this function, mutate all. And within the mutate all, I've written this function called function x, trim x. So basically every column which gets passed to this will get trimmed. So if I run this and have a glimpse at that, you can see that it has done exactly the same thing uh, by removing the leading and, and the trailing spaces. There's obviously so many other ways, so I'll, I'll show you another way. Instead of saying, I want to mutate all the columns, this time we are saying, we only want to mutate those columns which are character. And if I run it, it'll do exactly the same thing. Now, there are also some other ways as well, whereas you have um, other packages, for example, I have another package called library stringer, which I can use. And then it achieves the same thing. It has the string underscore trim command, which does exactly the same thing 
as what we have done in, in the previous trim WS functionality. And if I am going to use this string command, string trim command to whole of my data frame, I can do exactly the same thing. Instead of saying trim WS, I can say I can say function X, and in the function I'm saying str underscore trim x and this is going to do exactly the same thing there's no right and wrong in this one there are so many ways to do that and just pick one which which you can remember and which you which you like hope uh, you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and i'll see you in the next one